A Sandarini earthquake update for the 26th of February 2025. Activity is up. Earthquake frequency is slightly up since the 24th of February, but average intensity of quakes is down. In this Sandarini earthquake update, we look at seismographs from Anidros Island, the epicenter locations over the past 24 and 48 hours, island movement in the area, and we'll see if anything is changing. This video is based on an article on strikeengine.com, link in the video description, and in that article there are links to all the information sources used in this video. We'll start off with seismographs from Anidros Island. Anidros has been at the center of the earthquake swarm since it started, and for this reason is probably the most active seismograph in the area. Comparing the 23rd, of February with today the 26th I'd say the lines look smoother today the smoother the line the more that suggests less underlying uh, seismic activity and the spikes also seem less frequent so we're getting quite a lot of events registered on the 23rd I'd say that's down today and with regards to the intensity of the spikes that we're seeing I'd say they're pretty close between the two of them but looking at this evidence only looking at the seismographs only I'd say activity is uh, actually down, not up, versus the 23rd. So a bit of conflict in the data there. Uh, coming on to epicenter locations, the trend that we started seeing on the 23rd where there be earthquakes happening all over the place, that's continuing. We're not seeing localized epicenters anymore. And the same website that I've taken this from, University of Athens Seismological Laboratory. Again, link in the article on Strike Engine if you want to go and see it for yourself. It's got all this is uh, searchable dynamic data. It's a good website, this. And on that same website, it also shows that we're still seeing a lot of earthquakes at very shallow depth. A lot registering as two kilometers. Now, maybe two kilometers is the, uh, the, the least depth that they can measure. So perhaps we're seeing a lot of earthquakes even at a depth of less than two kilometers. So that's the epicenters. Uh, next one is the island movement. So we've been looking in the previous updates at the movement of Santorini, uh, Amorgos Island and Eos Island. And I'd say generally the movement for all of these islands is the same as it was in the last update. No big changes since the last update. One noticeable aspect, though, is Eos's movement to the west looks like it's going to stop. So Eos is to the left. Santorini is here. Eos is up here. Uh, for the past uh, two weeks, well, since the swarm has started, Eos has been moving in a northwesterly direction, and that looks like it's going to stop. To me, this suggests that the constructive plate margins in this area are reducing in activity i pres i propose i hypothesize that the constructive plate margins that we see here have been opening and pushing this plate to the northwest we're seeing an apparent drop in intensity of the earthquakes that we're seeing so to me that might suggest that there's less energy being released into the crust less force moving it in that direction and that could be responsible for EOS to stop moving. Is it possible we are seeing underwater lava emissions and this is what's potentially relieving the pressure in the fault and this is why the earthquakes have dropped intensity? Uh, I guess it's possible that we could be seeing lava emissions here but as I write here I guess it's possible but I would like to think if this was happening it would have been reported in the media it would be a nice thing to know but as things stand at the moment uh, we've just got to assume that you know the general stress in the crust in the area is uh, less than what it was and this is the reason the underlying energy that was being put into this area is dropping and it's not something specific to lava release this is what i'm talking about these are the eos movements so north kind of looks consistent but this is the westward movement that we've been seeing for the past uh, 30 days and it looks to be stopping basically and then we come on to cumulative earthquake data Although the frequency of the quakes has increased according to VolcanoDiscovery.com and this frequency has been increasing since around the 24th when the tides have started to increase. I've put a link here to the tides if you want to see them. Actually, we can just take a quick look here. So this is the 24th. Um, 24th is really where they really started to build in the, the coefficient, the tidal coefficient really started to build. And we're seeing... Uh, an uptick in earthquake frequency as this happened 
but the average magnitude of quakes is dropping so we're seeing more more quakes but the uh, the percentage of the quakes being magnitude one i.e less intensity is dropping the green is taking up a bigger proportion of the columns now than it was you know back here so Santorini earthquake update 26th of february in summary activity has slightly increased with the new tides but the average intensity of each quake is less many earthquakes are shallow two kilometers or less and this may be a reason for the drop in magnitude of the average quake earthquakes can read less intense the closer they are to the surface so are we really seeing a reduction in intensity or are the earthquakes getting smaller i think the jury is definitely still out on that one eos is slowing movement west i think it says less force in the crust pushing westwards is this because we are seeing underlying conditions settling i.e you know things deep in the ground are calming down or are we seeing a magma release and underwater relieving the pressure I think calmer underlying conditions is more likely, but it's still concerning to be seeing so many earthquakes being recorded. The number of earthquakes being recorded is still well above the norm. Um, actually, we can take a look on Volcano Discovery to have a look what the norm is. And probably 10 earthquakes a day, maybe, is the norm, probably a bit less. And at the moment, for the past seven days, uh, that doesn't give this let's have got 30 days and we can see that we are seeing each one of these bars is one day we're seeing over a hundred quakes so we're well well above the norm of about 10 and then coming back to the conclusion uh, yeah I said it's concerning to still be seeing so many earthquakes um, and having said that about the activity number of quakes increasing the seismograph on Anidros, I don't think, is reflecting that increase in earthquake frequency and nor the apparent dropping in average intensity. So the next few days, as expected, there was some uptick in activity when the tides started to build. Could this continue? Could the activity continue with the tides? It could do. It could continue. However, I think the trend we have seen so far is for activity to peak as the tides start to get bigger and then for the frequency to gradually decline until the tides reach their smallest again so if this holds for this period we may have already seen the peak in activity and events could continue to drop until the 10th or 11th of march when the tides start to build again if you've got time please give the video a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more updates on santorini subscribe to the channel look after yourself and i'll see you again in the next video